with it being Black History Month, are there any African American mentors or heroes that you look up to, either well known or in your family or friends? I'm going to say Cher uh, Shirley Chisholm. She was the first um, African American Cong uh, United Congress uh, female and she ultimately ended up running for president in 1972. And she was very inspirational to me because she didn't see boundaries, you know, they didn't stop her. She set her mind on what she wanted to do and, you know, she climbed that mountain and she didn't stop till she got, you know, as far as she could. So I think she's very inspirational. She's an inspiration to me joining the Guard and just doing what I do and just not letting anyone, you know, stop my journey. Uh, Shirley Chisholm came from a, um, a period of time where women were defined as like um, housemakers and they just, if they were in the industry, they were, you know, mediocre, you know, kind of mediocre. It was during the time in the 60s where, you know, we were having a lot of race, you know, issues and discrimination and she didn't let society define her. She determined, you know, she was going to do something and she kept, you know, her eye on the prize until she got there. So that inspires me when I when I have you know issues with discrimination as a female or as a African American. It, it I don't let it stop me. I you know I don't let people set my boundaries. You know I define my own you know way. I define who I'm going to be and how I'm going to characterize myself. What lessons do you think our society or military have learned since then, and what things do we still need to work on in your mind? I think we've learned not to stereotype people and not to just, you know, think somebody's a certain way. We've learned to be more open, you know, and uh, accept people for who they are. And, and there's more opportunities, I think, for female. I think when I first started in the transportation world, it was a male dominant, you know, white male dominant. And uh, it, it, at the beginning, it was a struggle for people to take me seriously. But once I found out that I was passionate about it, you know, I feel like that people overcame that and they overlooked that and I broke down some stereotypical barriers, you know. It's like they thought, oh, she's just, she's not going to understand this, she's not going to understand that about transportation. And I think I, that I broke down those barriers and people accept me for, you know, as she knows what she's doing. You know, she's, she's a female, but, you know, she's African American fem female, but that has no bearing on anything. Why do you feel it's harder for you or other females or African Americans to prove themselves in those jobs, kind of like you were talking about? Well, just because, I, I mean, I think that most men are mechan mechanically inclined. I think most men know just a lot of stuff that I've struggled with in the, in the beginning, like reading a map and just the, the different stuff that just didn't come natural to me or haven't been exposed to. I had a little bit of a disadvantage because the people that I was competing with already knew how to do that. But I was able to overcome them. I've had some very stern, very fair leaders, and I think that that was instrumental in my, uh, the advancement of my career. They saw that I was a hard worker, I was dedicated, and I was passionate, and they, you know, helped me advance my career. So they were very instrumental to me, you know, and they didn't see color. They saw this is a hard worker, this girl is passionate, she knows what she's doing, she cares about the soldier, and we need those traits. So I, I'm very fortunate to have those leaders that have helped pave the way for me. That's really good. That's good. So. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I would just say is if, if you want to join the military as a female, you know, decide on where you want to be, what kind of soldier you want to be, what your platform, what you want your platform to look like, and just stick with it. Don't let anybody discourage you, you know, because of who you are, what you look like. You know, stay true, and you know, remember, always remember why you're doing it. I want to, I want to serve people. I want to serve my country, and that's why I do it. And as long as I keep that in mind, you know, nothing's going to distract me.